In a surprise turn of events, the top two political rivals met for the first time since the long contentious election period that set the country on an uncertain path. It was the start of what they called a jointly led push for national unity. The political truce marked an about face in Odinga's position, having refused to recognize Kenyatta's presidency. The partnership was seen as unlikely, but such political partnerships have authoritative examples in history. The courtship of Kanu and NDP had been long and torturous. The first signs of a possible cooperation appeared on the very day retired President Daniel Moy was inaugurated after the 1997 election. Odinga had initially agreed with then leader of the Democratic Party Moi Kibaki that they would both denounce the election and reject it as neither free nor fair. But Odinga withdrew from this agreement, instead in a well-calculated political move, opting to drift towards Moi, a man who detained him for years. The formation of New Kanu defined the disturbing question of who would succeed President Daniel Arap Moi when he stood down at the end of what was his final term. The merger, however, did not hold long. The retired president chose Uhuru Kenyatta to succeed him. Odinga led a mass walkout of the Independence Party and teamed up with the Moi Kibaki-led opposition, endorsing him as the National Rainbow Coalition presidential candidate ahead of the 2002 general election. But they would fall out again, Odinga accusing Kibaki of reneging on a pre-election power-sharing deal. Odinga campaigned against the president in a referendum for a new constitution in 2005 and won. He would challenge the former president, Moi Kibaki, for the presidency two years later. The election result was highly disputed. Thousands died in the aftermath. After days of haggling that at times had the country on tenterhooks, Kibaki and Odinga would come together again, sign a national accord to end the tenth standoff. This led to the formation of the awkward political marriage that was the Grand Coalition Government in 2008, with Kibaki as president and Odinga as prime minister. The violence of 2007 and the ICC intervention also gave birth to what was seen as another unlikely partnership. Ahead of the 2013 general election, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, William Ruto, who were on opposing sides in 2007, came together in a political coalition that has held to date. No two Kenyans agree. This latest Kenyatta-Odinga partnership has been hailed as a necessary step to healing the country from deep divisions. But observers have questioned the exclusion of both of these leaders' closest allies and whether the politics of 2022 were at play. Deputy President William Ruto has since given the two a pat on the back for agreeing to come together for the country's sake. Sheila Sendeo, NTV.